my name is Jane and I'm here at the Food to Eat Kitchen celebrating Passover. If you're like me and you're not going to eat bread, then you need to figure out a way to make matzah taste a whole lot better. How do I do that? I cover it in caramel and chocolate to make matzah crack. Crack, because it's really addicting, but actually crackers if you want to keep it PG. Let's get started. First, you want to put your matzah into a 375 degree oven for 15 minutes. The next step, while your matzah is in the oven, is to melt the butter. Once your butter has melted, you're going to add the brown sugar. Add your brown sugar, turn the heat up to high, and let this come to a boil. So once it's boiling, you're going to want to turn the heat down a little bit and cook it for about three more minutes until it's thickened up. This could take longer in some cases, so just be careful. And once you see that it's a thick caramel toffee-like syrup, turn the heat off and just wait for the matzo to be ready. So we've taken our matzo out of the oven. As you can see, it's gotten dark and golden. And we have our caramel sauce over here. You want to fill in all the cracks that you can with the matzah, even if you have to break some pieces up. And then we're going to pour this over. We might not use all of it. Spread it out. And basically, all of the matzah is going to absorb this caramel. We're going to lower the oven temperature to 350 degrees and bake this for about 10 to 15 minutes. You'll see that it will be nice and bubbly. And then once that's done, I'll show you the next step and how to get this covered in chocolate. So, we've taken our matzah out of the oven and as you can see, a lot of the caramel has soaked into it. It's nice and bubbly. And we're just gonna sprinkle our chocolate chips over the top and you'll see they immediately start to melt. So I've spread all of the chocolate out as neatly as possible. And now is a great time to put any toppings that you want. You can put nuts if you're not observing Passover strictly, or you can put more chocolate chips, you can put sprinkles, some coconut flakes would be great. Just get creative. And then you're gonna put this into your fridge or your freezer, depending on how much time you have, and let it cool. And you'll know that it's completely cool when the chocolate has set, the pan is not hot. I would do at least 20 to 30 minutes in the freezer or up to two hours in the refrigerator. So, good time. So we've taken our matzah crack out of the freezer and as you can see, it's completely cool. And I've put peanuts on half of it as a topping so you can see what it looks like. You wanna just take it out, whatever you had it in. And if you can take a look, parchment means it's nothing is sticking. And we're just gonna break off a few pieces. I don't like to cut it evenly, and you're gonna have a hard time doing that. Ta-da! This is our matzo crack. Chocolate underneath caramel, and somewhere inside there's matzo. I mean, really, I don't see it. Do you? I'm not gonna eat any right now for fear of going into diabetic shock at this moment but it's definitely worth all the calories and the sugar. So to check out more great how-to videos, go to dailyfoodtoeat.com. Bye everyone.